Welcome back. When talking about recruiting classes the past few months, we've talked a lot about Gonzaga and rightly so. They have an extremely good recruiting class coming in today. We're turning our attention to another team though on the recruiting front, Washington State football. The summer is when they begin to build their recruiting class. So now we're going to give you a bit of an update on where that stands. Overall, WSU has had eight verbal commits in the 2020 class. Four have committed this summer. The latest commit is wide receiver Cedric Pelham, who you're seeing right now. He verbaled earlier this week. The class has two wide receiver commits, two D back commits, two offensive line commits, one running back commit and one defensive line commit. Their highest rated commit, according to 24-7 Sports, is running back Jaden King, who you're also seeing right now. He committed in March. All eight of the players are three-star recruits. So the main question is how do these players address needs for the team after this season? All of the information you're about to hear is based off of WSU's spring football roster on their website, which is currently the most up-to-date roster we have. There may be a few things that have change but overall pretty accurate. The team will lose four wide receivers after this year. Those four wide receivers are Aesop Winston, Des Patman, Brandon Arcanado and Calvin Jackson. All those names should be familiar to WSU fans. WSU is always going to load up on wide receivers. That's just how this offense works. Having two early wide out commits, this uh, seems pretty normal. The team will lose two offensive linemen going into 2020, most notably Frederick Moinga, or excuse me, Moingo. Ah. Mowing uh, Oa. Yeah, it's a hard name, guys. Uh, I'm just, yeah, the team's all Pac-12 honorable mention center. They shore up those scholarships with two OL commits. They're actually adding another D back as Marcus Strong is the only one in that group graduating. As I said, they have two DBs as commits right now. The running back, a huge position in WSU's offense last season. But with the early departure of James Williams, they have a rather untested group. If you count the fullback listed on the roster, there are seven running backs coming into this season. Only one, Max Borgie, has played significantly significant minutes for the Cougs. Adding another one to the mix certainly does not hurt. So the next obvious question is what other areas do the Cougars need to recruit in this cycle? But before we get into that, we need to know how many scholarships this team has to give out. According to the spring roster, there are 14 seniors and one graduate student. Cough, Gage Guru, cough on this roster. That stat also includes Jalen Totson scholarship, who was drafted yesterday. We don't know if there are any seniors not on scholarship. So just to make a guesstimate, between transfers and graduation, I'd say WSU has 15 to 20 scholarships to give out next season. That's not a ton, especially with eight players already committed. The number one thing I see this class class adding is at least one quarterback. I know that's like the most no dust statement of all time, but there are three quarterbacks that are going to graduate next year. Gage Gubrud, Anthony Gordon and Trey Tinsley. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually added two QBs. I also expect them to add two more linebackers as two linebackers are graduating as well. Same situation with the defensive line who are leaving. They already have one DL commit in this class but I would not be surprised if they went out and got at least three guys in that position group.